Hello, I'm John Stapleton with Code VA, and this is a quick tutorial on embedding passages with Twine using the chapbook story format. Let's jump right into it. So I've got a story up here, and I'm going to show you how to do embedding passages by making uh, a version of The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe, a famous poem by an American uh, poet. Uh, very cool stuff, very spooky. Um, and embedding passages is just a way for us to um, kind of handle repetition in our stories. Uh, it's super, super useful and powerful beyond that. Um, and there's lots of ways to use embedding passages, lots of creative ways to do it. But I'm just going to kind of try to show you the simplest way. Um, uh, yeah, so let, let's jump right in. I got my I got my story started here. I've got the title. Um, uh, and then we have stanza one, which I I need to I need to write. So um, luckily, I have that already <laughs> already good to go. I have that uh, copy and pasted, so you don't have to watch me uh, look that up. Um, so stanza one uh, is is here. Then we thought the air grew denser, perfumed from an unseen sensor, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, at the end, after stanza one, we have a line that's repeated throughout the story. It goes, quaff the raven, nevermore. So that's stanza one of my story, of my, my poem. But in the actual poem, quaff the raven happens over and over and over again. It, it is like, like between every stanza, there's, uh, there's this line. And if I wanted to, to do stanza one and then stanza two, so like maybe I'll add a link to stanza two here, stanza two, there we go. I would have to do stanza two, which I'll, I'll just paste in here. And then I'd have to type quaff the raven, nevermore, again. That's annoying. <laughs> That's not that annoying. It's only one line. But for the sake of this demonstration, I want to handle this repetition by embedding a passage. And here's what I'll do to kind of make that work. I'm going to hit new, and this will be the passage I will embed. I'm going to name this the Raven. And I'll put the repeated part in there. That's great. There's the repeated part. Now, what I can do is add a line of code that tells Twine to embed that passage called the Raven. And the way I do it is I say embed, and then passage. And then in quotation marks, I'll put the name of the passage I want Twine to embed. So the name of the passage is the Raven. And I'll, I'll do that wherever I have the repeated section. Now you see we have these like dotted lines. These dotted lines indicate that Twine is embedding the passage here. And if I test, you'll see it's largely the same. We have Quaff the Raven Nevermore uh, both times. Now, why would I do this for one line? Well, if it's one line, maybe maybe that's not a good reason to do it, but you can do all sorts of cool stuff. Like, for example, if I wanted to uh, do something dramatic, uh, I could do like, I could do like a delay here. Uh, let's say after 0.5 seconds. I'll, I'll test it. You can see what it looks like. So see, it does this like little dramatic reveal thing, which is kind of cool. But because I embedded it in this passage, it's going to do that dramatic thing every time. And maybe I even want it to last longer because I have to wait for people to read. So maybe like even three seconds. I can test it. And because I changed it in the embedded passage, it also changes wherever it's embedded, which is cool. The same thing's going to happen in each of those passages because uh, they're embedding the passage here. And whatever I change here, uh, you know, it, it's going to apply to all the places that where the where Twine is embedded. It um, maybe I'll add like a like an image here too. I'm gonna go find my image. Raven. Ooh yeah, that's good. I like this one. Share. Oh, can't forget my quotation marks. There we go. Now, again, because I've made that change in the version that's being embedded, wherever 
Yeah. Ooh, I like it. That's good. <laughs> Wherever uh, I embed the passage, it's going to like those changes are going to apply to all those different places. So it's a great way of handling repetition, especially if your embedded passage is a little bit more complicated. If it has like a delay or an image or even more links or whatever, lots of stuff you can do there. So that's embedding passages, a very powerful concept, uh, lots of creative ways to use it. Go try it out, go experiment. Uh, if you have questions or you run into any problems with embedding passages, please get in the comments of this video. We would love to help out. Um, you can also check out the link in the description to the Twine Trail Guide, which is a it, it has a text version of this tutorial with examples, uh, code you can copy and paste, lots of details, screenshots, all that stuff. Uh, so that might be helpful. It also has links to the other concepts that I covered here. I did like a delay thing. Uh, there's a video about that. I also did a, a I embedded an image. If you're curious about embedding images, there's a link to that concept as well. Um, otherwise, good luck and happy coding.